Hey, what's up guys? I am Joe from Workbench, and this week we're gonna talk about counterfeiting, I mean, <laughs> engraving. Okay, so this week we're gonna turn an image like this into an image like this. And let's go. All right, so first I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna turn all these off. Make sure you add yourself a background layer that is white. Very important. On top, I have my image. All we have on it is tint, and we've set our opacity down to 50%. On top of that, I have a black solid with Venetian blinds on it. Let me turn this off. You can see those are just the blinds. It's also set to 50%, and I have a Gaussian blur set to 5.9. I have repeat edge pixels checked, but of course you're gonna have to play with this to taste. This is just what I found worked best for this image. Okay, so you might remember this technique from way back in the blobs tutorial, like the first one, I think it was like number three. So the idea here is to blend the dark areas of the Venetian blinds with the dark areas of the image. If you want to make different things stand out, you can add levels to your actual image. But I didn't do any of that. So basically what we have right now are ranges of gray that are blurred a little bit with each other on top of a white background. So in our adjustment layer on here, turn off this tint real quick. Let me make this a little bit larger. We have brightness and contrast on here. We're brightening it up a little bit. We got nine, and then we have our contrast cranked to 88. And so now we have black and white values pretty much. So when I put a tint, and I'm just mapping them to colors to give it kind of a nice little neat look. You can actually go in here and add a Gaussian blur to this too if you want, to the actual image itself. And when that calculates, it might give you a little bit better look. It might blend it a little bit better. Eh, not much but it tends to make these things a little thicker and thinner. So what happens because of that blur is that the boundaries between the dark and light areas merge together a little bit. And when we up the contrast on it, it lets us make these lines thick and thin around the edges of those blurs, as you can see here. So if we went in here, we can actually make this brighter. And as you can see, it'll even drop out the lines in between. I'm gonna undo that because I kind of like the little contrast in there. But because of the way this is set up, it gives us a kind of cool old school engraving look. What could also be neat is if we turn this Venetian blinds layer off, we turn this adjustment layer off to make it a little easier for ourselves. And then we start a new layer. Click off of that. Just draw a line across and name that lines just because. I'm going to open that up and I am going to add a zigzag. I'm going to make sure we don't have a fill on, which it looks like we do. I want strokes only. Turn that way down. I was making some ribbon boards earlier that had some really wide stuff, I guess. So there's that. So let's make this black. We're gonna make the zigzag a little higher, more ridges, a little lower, change this to smooth. All right, so now we're gonna throw a repeater on there. And we're gonna put a bunch of copies, more offset backwards so that we can go that way with it. Let's go to the transform properties over here. I am going to shift this till it makes something kind of interesting. We go like that. That's kind of neat. Maybe a little bit more over. There we go. Trying to get a little bit more of that old engraving look. So the one problem we're having is that some of these are getting shorter as they're going that way. So we're going to come out here, extend that, extend that. We're going to have to go back in here a little bit and tweak. Uh, one thing we're going to do is change ridges per segment because that is based on the line length. It's kind of neat. And then we're going to have to tweak this a little bit. Let's bring it down, bring it over. I'm trying to kind of get them to line up a little bit better. So I'm not bad about that. Let's see if I can bring these back a little bit. Ah, need a little bit more, a little bit more. I kind of want them closer together. That's kind of nice. So we can maybe make a little bit more ridges. Bring that up, not down. Size them like that. And add a few more copies to our repeater. Bring this back. Okay. Now that whole tedious thing is done, uh, let's make this a little bigger again. All right, we're gonna go up here. Um, I'm actually just gonna copy the blur off of here. Copy that guy onto there. Set this thing to 50% again. Put this where the Venetian blinds layer is and turn this on. And now you can see that we actually need a lot more lines. So let's do that. Now that we at least have this set up a little bit, we can see what this looks like as we modify it. So it's on our repeater transform properties over here. Let's bring these a lot closer. Oops, not that close. Let's go like five. There we go. And then, eh, what's five on that? 
That's a little too close. Ten? It's not bad. I think they need to be thicker. Sorry, deal. Oop, not that thick. Let's go with like five. Yeah, there we go. And then what we do is add some more copies. Bring it back some more. More copies. There we go. And you get some kind of trippy Van Gogh engraving here. So that's pretty much it for our engraving. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you'd like to help support what we do, check out patreon.com slash workbench. Make sure you check out the blog at workbench.tv. And as always, I am Joe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.